Hey up guys, what's going on and welcome back to York City where I did not mess things up against Sheffield United. Embarrassment was not had. 2-0, we're in the FA Cup semi-finals which actually follows the quarter-final second leg. There's been a change of plans. I'll show you my opponents after the intro. Our opponents are Coventry. I'm not going to lie, if one of these ties is on television, I know which one's going to be on it. Coventry's run, by the way. I've just done it like this to make it easier to see. They beat Leicester last round, and then two championship clubs in the two rounds before that. It's not been a super difficult run. Like, two championships, they're decent scouts, but then Leicester, that's the one big scalp they've had on this run through. And now it's us, so... Ah. They're still League One, by the way. That's Of course, they got promoted to League One with us, didn't they? Oh, it's all coming back to me now. But yeah, Sheffield United 2-0, Alawar Silva getting two goals in that one. Two goals also in our revenge against Stoke. Didn't mess that one up either. Max Hunts and Cantoro, the goal scorers there. Now, I did kind of debate bringing the second leg off Real Sociedad, considering the first leg was 3-0. Madeira did a cane and stole a goal, which was going any anyway. We were gifted an own goal. I'll show you that in a second. And Harrison made it three just after half time. You need to see this own goal with your own eyes. It actually starts with a goal kick for them and then the camera changes rather awkwardly but Rick to Harrison, Grimes and it just comes out to Shao on this right hand side here. Shao powers into the box, lucky deflection a little bit, shoots at the goalkeeper, it's not in, it's not in, still not in, now it's in. In fairness he did goal keep it away from my striker but he also goal kept it into his own net. We dominated them which is why I'm slightly hmm <clears throat> about bringing this second leg. I've just remembered this is where we sent Pemberley on loan. He was sat on their bench and I didn't even notice during the match. That's a bit awkward. The biggest surprise for me here, by the way, is that Oyarzabal's still there. Like, he's still really good. Man City have already progressed through their two legs. For some reason, they played on the Wednesday. Uh, Everton did win the second leg, but Man City won 3-0 in the first leg as, any, as well. So, they're through. Leipzig and Milan carry advantages into this. But both of them are away from home now. We're being refereed by someone that we're going to have to be very careful in pronouncing their name. Their form is woeful. I've just seen it. Harrison's apparently taken a knock. I didn't see it, if I'm honest. The good news is Casillo's nearly back and ready for action. We might actually involve him against Coventry if he's ready for that. It's a very weird position to be in in a semi-final of a major cup competition with the with the idea of actually resting players. But anyway, we're almost in a similar boat here, to be honest. 3-0 up. We basically just got to not blow it all together. I'm just wondering if yellow cars get wiped at the semi-final stage. I don't know if they are, so what I'm going to do is Hidalgo's going to be in goal, Saxton, Argueso, Rick and Schauf still on the right. Realistically, we can't weaken that position. Grimes and Seri in the middle, Ponce, Vidal and Cantoro and Alawar will start up front. I'm trying to work out why this guy rings a bell. I've scouted him at some point, that's probably why. I think he must have come around my scout report in the first half of this season because Escobar's on my list and Alawar's not at the top. Ponce was briefly confused by the concept of winning, but we've straightened him out. So essentially the target here is to just not completely ruin everything as Cantoro is running a little bit fast for my liking. Also in wonderful three dimensions. Did I do last episode in three dimensions? No, it's just because I just did a highlight. Ponce's at the back post. I can't actually see it because the match stats in the way for some reason. There we are, problem solved. Well, that's not ideal. Thigh. Just as Castillo's coming back as well. I couldn't have timed that any better slash worse simultaneously. Actually, Nyambi, how good actually are you in the fronty bits? 10 crossing. Not great. What are you really lacking? Technique, flair, off the ball and dribbling. All right. Yeah, fullback. Fullback's fine. I know it shouldn't take me this long to re really have a look at that, considering Fiore to Humberto. Jose Humberto. Great name, actually, when you say it out loud. What is going on here? There's a fight going on between number 17 and 23 is what it seems like. That's gone to Zabeldi on the edge of the box. Oh, that was unlucky to go in. That was unlucky to not go in. I do know how English works. Jose Humberto. Ponce heads that one out. This Is that the resulting corner or is this a new highlight? I am not entirely certain. Grimes is charging forward though. Nonetheless, we'll treat it as if it is a real highlight. Sorry's at the back post. Ah, it's a goal. Yes, it's a real highlight. I could probably just cut the video here now. But we'll play on because we did skip last round's worth of European-ness. So I will feature this one a little bit more. We'll probably play both legs of the semi-finals. Provided Sebastian don't score five now. But yeah, the semi-finals of this will play probably both legs and just skip the game in between or whatever. Or just bring you the briefnesses. Because of the FA Cup, by the way, the Tottenham game moved entirely to the third from last game. Yep, my last three games are now Tottenham, Arsenal, Man United. Thank you for that one. Doesn't really matter though, if we're... Oh, good God, that's like Cantor and he wiped him out there. Rosas has 
Got through here. He's gone a bit wide. Hidalgo saves. Good job there, mate. I was really patronising. Good job, mate. Well done. You kept the ball out. That's your job. That's what we pay you for. At least you're technically now first choice. Oh, you didn't keep that one out, did you? To be honest, it was a resulting corner. I wasn't expecting that. It's the corner that came from that save. This never happens. Great header, actually. There was nothing really Hidalgo could have done about it. I do notice that Lazio have got their goal that they needed with their away goals in it. So as things stand, both Italian teams are going to go through and face both English sides. Although Dortmund have just scored. There could be an all-Italian final. There could be an all-English final, depending on how those play out. Shao comes forward, comes forward, still coming forward. Well, that's a goal. As soon as he palmed that back into the path of the middle of the box, that's not a sentence. I knew that was in. You're getting slightly late night, Charlie, again. I don't know why I keep leaving this so late recently, but yep. My ability to use words is apparently not here tonight. Shall yeah, that wasn't. There was a point in time where I wanted to sign that keeper. Actually, I think it might be for Southampton. Yeah, no, um, wrong save. He went to Chelsea. So wrong save because he ha hasn't been to Chelsea on this one. This is the problem with two now currently Premier League saves at the same time. I'm just going to say keep it up, lads, because it's 2-1. It's 5-1 on aggregate. They need to score, well, five goals again. Actually, that's not changed. Bergwin coming forward. Oyarzabal. And to Fiore. I mean, if this game ends 6-2, then... I mean, it's worth the entry fee, isn't it? Could I mean, he's hit the bar again. Twice. In the same shot. I think it actually counted both times as well. We've had two clear-cut and three half chances. Almost feel like we should be doing better. Great clearance by Rick there. And that was the reason for the highlight. So, well done, Rick. Meanwhile, I've checked in on the two youngsters that I sent out on loan in January. Both of them seem to be doing all right. Hull, uh, Batons has gone to Hull, and he had a man-of-the-match performance, so that's what triggered that. They're... Doing all right. Barwick's obviously got a year advanced on uh, Batums. He was the previous year's intake. He might be well worth rotating in next year, particularly in Europe situations. And Toro, uh, Shao. I can't take Shao off. I can, actually. I can put... Oh, no, he's on a yellow card. No point risking that at this point. Uh, Cantoro... No, Harrison's but injured. I actually don't know what to bring on here. I mean, Vidal's booked. We'll just do that. I'm not bothering switching. I'm just going to keep it on the same, same instructions. Madeira... Like none of those were particularly necessary, but fair enough. Madeira's actually got the ball here. And uh, Sarri, he's going to have a crack. No, yes, no, yes, no. Madeira might. Four goals for the season for Madeira. This might actually be his best year. He had a great first year in the Premier League. Last year he switched off. This year he's back again. Consistency, folks. You'd love to see it. But most importantly, 12 goals in the season where he becomes potentially an English citizen at the end of the year. If he is going to come into form now, I'm very glad he's chosen to do it now. Milan scored. Uh, Milan scored with a player that I was looking at at one point in time. 18 tackling. Pixie or Pixie or how you're supposed to pronounce it. But my issue was, of course, he's Brazilian, potentially injury prone, and basically as good as Rick already. I did like the look of him, though. I'll probably actually play against him next round, actually, I just realised. So, 3-1. So, yeah, Lazio did turn it around by scoring in the first second of the game and the last second of the game, seemingly. I mean, if you arrive late and... They Hang on, they scored three in the end in Milan. Good God. I mean, if you arrived late and left early, then you've missed everything. Three or four weeks for Bradley Saxton is not good news. York received 1.3 million. Seri was on form. One goal, one assist. Yeah, so Milan will be our semi-final opponents. wonder who's... Oh, they're first in Syria. They're in the Euro Cup? They dropped down. Right, they dropped down from the Champions League last year. This year. 56 goal difference. Don't think I didn't see that. 21 goals conceded, 77 scored. That's a lot. They scored seven goals against Juventus, the champions. 19 goals conceded this year. Uh, they seem to be pretty good at the back. And those games have moved again. We'll just see how that's affected things. Obviously, if we win this FA Cup semi-final against Coventry, that goes in the end of the season, so that won't affect anything else. Ah, that's actually really helpful, the game that has been sandwiched around. That's actually super helpful, that is Everton. Yeah, that's because obviously we just played them on an episode. That works out quite nicely. The next episode will be both Milan games, and then the end of the season run-in. Three game bonanza and then the FA Cup final if we beat Coventry here. So next three episodes are already sorted. I'm pleased with through. Can't think of any of that. Yeah, it was a great goal actually. Real Madrid is 25 now. Don't know why, but that makes me feel old in real life. Rest a couple of key players, I guess. Especially if Saxon's injured, it's best to keep Nyambi fresh. It should be back for the FA Cup final, provided we get past Coventry. I keep saying this as if it's a done deal. They've beaten Leicester. Oh, just a quick update on the England front. We did win both games against Bulgaria and Latvia. 6-0 and 3-0. So, qualifying is off to a good start. And we've just gained a friendly with South Korea to this calendar for England. I wish England were doing more things with South Korea currently. And that's all I'll say on that front.
The Coventry manager was my under-18s manager. Assistant manager at one point. He was nicked by Swansea, went to West Brom's under-23s and then became actual managers of Northampton, Preston and now Coventry. Ashley Darrell Jazz Richards, great name. Uh, fans of Swansea, Crystal Palace, Huddersfield, Fulham and Cardiff will all recognise him, probably. But he was actually in my staff at one point. Oh God, I've had one of those moments. He would have walked up to me there and gone, pleasure to see you again. I'll be like, yeah, you too. Who is he? It was a while ago, but York actually suffered defeat the last time they played Coventry. Will it have any bearing ahead of this game? Very cool, sure. Just, just quit. Just quit your job, you imbecile. Not in the slightest, it was ages ago for starters. And two leagues ago. There we are, look, minimal profit. All the other semi finals are actually happening straight away, on the Saturday. So we actually get to see who our finalists' opponents will be. Of course, this is actually Wembley again at the semi-finals. This is a great draw for Coventry, by the way, of course. This is a Wembley match for them without actually having to get to a final. Liverpool continue to set the pace, which is kind of irritating. They're two games in hand, so we will go ahead of them if we win them both. We won't catch Man United at this point. We still have to rely on beating them, and they've just got past Man City. We might have to play Manchester United twice in a row. Considering the league positions, that might be a good thing. Imagine if we do a treble here without actually winning the league. Alright, so our form is excellent. We have players suspended. I would have rotated them out anyway. Sorry, what? 36-year-old Jesse Lingard has gone to Coventry. I mean, maybe the youngster will finally come good. I mean, he misses this anyway, but... So purely because I don't want to burn out Vidal, who's going to be used quite a lot over the next couple of games and weeks, I'm going to play Teco on this one. Obviously, Teco will probably play in the away leg in the Europa League as well, in particular. But just to keep those two positions as fresh as possible, Teco's coming in in the defensive midfielder role here. A Dutra will start in goal with Shao on the left, just because Castile's still only good for 45 minutes. Alguesa and Medina, Nyambi, Teco as mentioned, Grimes and Cassare, along with Ponce and Harrison in the attacking forward roles, along with Coita at the very, 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 very front of things. As a result, we have a ridiculously strong bench to bring on here, if we so desire. Cantora's there, Vidal's there, Castillo's there, Seri's there. They have a lot of players in their midfield, is basically what I'm getting, getting from this. Madeira and Silva are the last two on our bench. You deserve to be in the final. Gotta be said, apart from Everton away in the FA Cup, that's basically the only one that we probably wouldn't have expected to win. Now, our Carabao Cup campaign started with Manchester United, but the FA Cup run's been quite kind, realistically, and half an hour's gone in this match with no highlights, surprisingly. This is the match that doesn't have any highlights. Well, obviously, I'm going to demand more because we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Coventry. We've had nine shots, but only two on target. I don't really count the off-target shots because they're basically pointless. Never mind, Teco scored his first goal of the season. FA Cup semi-final. You waited time, didn't you, sunshine? I think probably the problem is... We're having issues getting past that five-man midfield because that's literally a wall of players there. Great goal from Teco. And I'm sure you've not played that position an immense amount this year, but I'm actually going to say I'm not happy. It's fired them up. I've just noticed in that Premier League game between Stoke and Sheffield United that's going on at the same time, each side had a player injured in the same minute. Did they run into each other? Shaunam, Grimes, Harrison, Harrison, 2-0. There we are. Fired them up, off we go. For a semi-final, this is probably as calm as you'll ever see a human being be in rec in recording it. Because I mean, I'm I was I was conscious of the upset. I won't lie on that one, but I've just noticed that Stoke and Sheffield United game in even more detail. Not only did they have two players injured in the same minute, Sheffield United then proceeded to score two goals in the next two minutes. I'm just I'm just thinking of that poor typist at the BBC Sport page. Harrison scored again. Injury, injury, goal, goal. Just stop. Doing things! I've got an FA Cup semi-final to type about! Although, in fairness, I'd probably be on a different page, wouldn't it? They'd probably hire someone separate. That's not important! Harrison scored. There we are. Great goal. Basically identical to the second. We don't need to see it with the offside lines. He's clearly onside. Everton are beating Chelsea, though, so if they have a complete and utter collapse, they are there for the taking. Teco, we do have to climb ten points, though, in five games. It's not easy. They basically have to lose everything. Harrison, he's going to get a hat-trick here, perhaps. Nope, not yet. Now, the problem here is, with 3-0 up, and all our best players are on the bench. Moon scored. I mean, cherish it. I do appreciate the fact that on the main page, his name will be a moon. That's not a moon. Yes, it is. He's the central defender. What a finish that was. I've got to play Newcastle in three days. Grimes. Grimes exists still. I kind of forgot he was on the pitch, if I'm honest. Madeira? So everyone else on that bench is going to start, probably. Because, oh, Castillo needs minutes. I forgot about Castillo. At the very least, Shao gets 10 minutes rest. Angostino will get a few seconds of match sharpness probably here. Crosby into Moon. Shao's gathered it though. Is this going to get switched? No, back to Aguaso, Medina. I 
I mean, in my case, switched the long way. Yeah, it's got to Harrison eventually there. Sari's on the ball. I do feel a little bit sorry for unleashing Ivan Sari on Coventry. He's got a penalty, probably. Harrison's the one to take it. He's on a hat trick, of course. 15 goals for the season. Right, viewers, be honest. At the start of this year, when you saw my signings, did you think Jack Harrison was going to be one of my best players? Don't lie, because I didn't either. It's worth noting, despite their good start, they only had one further shot on target after I called that out. Pleased with the result and the performance. 4-1. You can't really argue about it. Apparently the Premier League is still dinged on between City and Tottenham. It is, yes. Wow. So if we were to get six points from the two games in hand we have on Chelsea, that would be 67 points. It would be four points in four games we'd have to cover. Not unheard of, but... But one of those games is the Tottenham game, we got, which got rescheduled down here. And then obviously I presume the other one's this Newcastle game now. So, yeah, not super confident. But next time out, of course, Milan, both legs... Apparently it says unknown for the FA Cup final. One second. I mean, they played before us. We know who it is. There we are. York City versus Manchester United. We've come a long way in two years after being beaten by Cardiff in the fourth round. But yes, of course. Milan in the next episodes. Arsenal, Tottenham, and Man United in the one after that. And then just an FA Cup final for you in the one after that. Weirdly bookended with the cup front. Considering that our first domestic cup match was against Manchester United in the Carabao Cup third round. Funny how things work out, isn't it? Until next time. Ta-ra. Finals everywhere. I mean, we could be in three finals.